Hey guys, welcome to the very first video in the series of Max Scripting. And in this series, we are going to get acquainted with how we can write Max Script and how we can do a basic setup. So this is a default setup when you open up 3D Studio Max. And if you notice at the bottom left, you have got two boxes. One is a pink box and one is the white box. So you just click anywhere and you can just say open listener window. So the listener window is basically a window where you can write a couple of lines of code and you can see the output down here. And similarly, you can either open the editor window from here or you can open these windows from going to this Max Script tab and you can just click here. So as I said that we can just write any uh, few lines of code and we can execute them. That means the first is always going to be print hello world. <laughs> All right, to execute, uh, what you can do is simply go or select the line or go to the end of the line and press the small enter key on your number pad. Uh, similarly, you can go to your uh, editor window and you can write uh, another fifth sentence or word and you can use your small enter key to again print the output. Or what you can do is you can go to tools and you can say evaluate all, right? If you want to evaluate just one line, like if you have uh, multiple lines, then you can just select one line and say tools, evaluate line or selection. Right now, what we are going to do is we'll just go ahead and we will set up the layout. So a layout that I usually prefer is this uh, in which the left hand side, I usually go to extended and uh, the max strip listener. And this one usually is uh, perspective. So this is the layout that I usually prefer. Okay, so as I just mentioned before that we can uh, basically run a few lines of code in the listener window and quickly see the output in the uh, max perspective or max viewports. Um, I have a piece of code right here. I'm going to select all and I'm going to hit the enter key on my number pad so once i do that uh, these code lines get evaluated and we have created a few teapots with some random colors in a grid fashion so this is 555 five, five, and we have named them also so from 1 to 25. so guys this is it for the video and now we have set up our 3d studio max first scripting and we will go ahead and take a look at a couple of other concepts thank you so much for watching